Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So we all know that the folks at Serif built Affinity as an amazing rival to tools that Adobe has created. And this includes Affinity Designer, which simply competes alongside tools like Illustrator and also Corel Draw. Then we've got the Affinity Photo that simply competes head on with Photoshop. And we've got the Publisher that also competes with InDesign. And these tools have been made available for both PC, Mac, and also for the iPad. And a lot of people have been having concerns about some of the things that has been going on lately. As if you simply go over to their website, Side, you notice that you can no longer purchase Affinity as the purchase link is completely hidden or totally dead. And this has sparked reactions across the internet as most people rely on these tools to create amazing looking stuff. So at this point, the folks at Serif has stopped the sale of Affinity product and are now doing a surgical reconstruction which might bring to either a total collapse of these two to create a new set of tools or maybe the pricing or some sort of integration might be coming up soon. And we do have some ideas about this whole thing. And of course, if you simply go over to their website right now, all you're going to see is a big banner that says creative freedom is coming. And then you get some text that says sign up to be the first to know as true creative freedom is just around the corner. And this is something that we might be seeing sometime October the 30th. And of course, if you'd like to be the first to know, you can simply come through and click on this button right here. And this is going to bring you over to a page where you can fill up the form and you get update to whatever announcement they will be making. However, all of their helplines are still there. Like you want to know more about designer, photos, or maybe publisher, you can still go ahead and check it out. These are still there. And while we talk about things that are still there, if you've got an iPad at this point, you can literally go ahead and download all of their products totally for free. Like if you've got an iPad, you can now have designer, photo and publisher totally for free. So if you go over to the app store right now, you can go ahead and download this product. If you possibly want to explore or you're looking for a free tool that you can use to do designer or photo related stuff, or even the publisher related stuff on your iPad on the go, this might just be the best time for you to get it. Now for the desktop version, that is where things are looking pretty, pretty interesting. One thing you would also notice is if you go over to their YouTube channel, they have literally scripted out everything. You go over to their post, there's just one post here, which has to do with the pledges that they made when the folks at Canva bought them. And for those who sort of missed that news, we did cover that. And you can simply go ahead and read up on all of this. And so one of the first things you will find here is fair pricing. So perpetual license will always be offered and we will always price affinity fairly and affordably. This has a bit of an undertone. The next thing which you're going to find here is, you know, accelerating affinity, which deals with the fact that affinity is here to stay. It will remain the highest quality pro design suit. And we will now accelerate the rollout of new features. And we also have the fact that it says that it's accessible for all, which means affinity suit will soon be made available without charge to schools and registered nonprofits and the community-led version. And this is good. The fact that Canva actually bought this and they rolled out with these four community pledges is cool. Now, before we talk about the ideas we have and you know what the undertone of these sort of mean to us, if you do have an account, possibly you purchased this before, you can still go ahead and download this. So you do have your licenses, they're still available. You can go ahead and download and continually use them. Now, our idea for both the plans and the pricing seems to be coming from an aggregate of responses that they have on X, formerly Twitter. So right here on X, when they made that post, there was a lot of conversation. There's just a whole lot of conversation about subscription. You know, people are simply tired of this whole subscription thing. And uh, so many people are just complaining about it. So all the way down, lots of talk simply hinges on subscription. Affinity is actually responding with more stuff like, you know, we can't really say anything about it. We would want you to wait to get updates about it. Uh, you know, we're working on fairness. Honestly, we'd like to do some stuff. We can talk about the stuff. All of these vague answers are there. And the fact that they just simply do a simple copy and paste of what their responses are sort of leaves everyone to ask, you know, what exactly is going on? Is Affinity version 3 coming or are you guys going to be integrating some stuff? So there is just a lot of questions and you can see clearly the artist no longer wants to deal with anything that has to do with subscription as it sort of looks like almost everyone is heading towards that. And for whatever it is, there's a lot of speculation around this. Affinity has actually gone ahead to address one of these by simply saying that our mission is to build a pro-grade platform that puts creatives first. Our big reveal on the 30th of October will show how we are building on that. Not moving away. 
And this also ties up to a very nice creative stuff that Constantine, an ex-platform user, has actually pieced together. And what he has done is to simply go across all of their social medias and grabbed all of these very tiny puzzle pieces that they've been posting. And you definitely find one right here, which is this nice looking Bezier. And if we go back here, you would see that he has pieced all these things together and he simply forms the letter A, which is more like A for affinity, possibly. So maybe affinity isn't going away after all. And so, from all of these, we've gotten some aggregate of what several people think about this coming release or what the folks at Affinity are currently looking at. One of them is making the tool totally free for all, just like they've done with the iPad version. But then you might be needing to pay for cloud storage, which I think is very simple and can just easily be integrated. So this is one simple idea, which I don't really think counts. And number two is making it free for basic tools and then more advanced tools will be cloud-based. As when asked about the whole AI thing, they are sort of vague about the whole thing. From our end, we sort of see that maybe there might be some AI tools that will be coming, which you might possibly need to access from the web, especially in situations where you just need them for design related purposes. For example, Project Turntable in Illustrator, which allows you to draw one single part of your piece and then you can use AI to generate various parts of that piece is a very interesting use case of AI. Examples of AI being used in a very creative way includes you just doing simple sketches and then AI automatically looks at that sketch, generates a full on poster for that and you can simply remix these posters however you want and create a desired result and that is good. We've also seen, you know, Photoshop integrate some cool AI with it that just simply matches multiple images together. And we've also seen some very nice sketch to full on creations, which is pretty impressive. And these features alongside maybe many more might be coming with the next release of Affinity as tools that might have links to the cloud. But I don't think this is what's shutting down their paid section to release a new product. And our thought idea here might be totally far-fetched, but you know, just hear me out. They might make their entire lineup of tools a unified package so that you can simply access everything at once. Just like what we have with Blackmagic Resolve, where Fusion, which is their node-based tool, has been fully incorporated. Instead of having two different tools, these tools are now one unified tool. And we've also seen this in several places. They might be thinking about making one unified package, which you can pay a perpetual license to own everything or own several tiers or subsets of that package. And these might also come in in form of subscription. And from all of this, this is what we sort of think might be going on. The folks at Serif might be releasing a brand new product altogether, which will deal with Affinity line of tools, and they might all be integrated into one package that will require you to pay certain tiers to get things done. And these might come with subscription charges for several other things. I mean, if we go by all of these explanations that a lot of people have actually thought about, which is quite creative, we might be seeing a new set of tools that will be coming to Affinity, essentially making the previous ones that they've released totally free because at the end of the day, they might be pricing various tool sets and even services that might be coming with the new version of tool that they'll be releasing alongside the folks at Canva for something that I believe will be relatively fair for creators. But for whatever it is, until when they make that announcement, we are only just speculating. So this is it. Tell me what you think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.